Hi guys, doing? Hope you're going to have an awesome day today. Deck Decker here. If you have already, can you hit the like and subscribe button now? First off, I just want to say Vader is a beast. He takes on planets and destroys all who defy him without mercy, regret, and no hesitation at all. He doesn't try to convert people to his empire. He destroys them all and to leave a message saying that no one will stop him. And he's the most powerful as being ever. So this puts a little situation in Klein. Yes, he has these servants, I guess you could say, in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. We see three, I wouldn't really call them Sith Lords. I would call them just allies that actually helps him find the one and only Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, he has been in many, many multiple different battles when he was conquering different planets, but never in a lightsaber duel because he wanted to see what his suit was capable of and how his suit can maintain this ability and to see how long it could hold up, hold his energy, and keep him alive. He knows that eventually soon he'll have to meet a formidable Jedi eventually. And that'll be Obi-Wan Kenobi because he's still looking for Obi-Wan Kenobi. So when he's looking for Obi-Wan Kenobi, basically, he, that's his main test. He wants to test out the suit to see that if he'll hold, would stand the powerful and ferocity strikes against his former master. Let's talk about the suit. Darth Vader's suit is a complex and advanced piece of technology designed to sustain his life after the catastrophic injuries he sustained in the battle with Obi-Wan, which we already know. The suit not only provides him with a distinctive intimidating appearance, but it also serves crucial functions to keep him alive. The suit includes a breathing apparatus that pumps oxygen into his damaged lungs, a helmet that relegates his body temperature and protects his fragile head, but does it and a suit of armor that provides physical support and protection. A suit also has a built-in life support system that constantly supports systems that constantly monitors his vital signs and administrates necessary medications. Now, his advanced suit does have several multiple purposes in keeping him alive. First and foremost, it provides complete life support regulating his breathing and providing oxygen through his system in tubes. It also regulates his body, protects him from extreme environments, which is helpful. And also the suit serves as a prosthetic, providing support for his movement, for his damaged body. Additionally, riding medical devices, painkillers, elevates uh, suits, enhances his strength and ability, which makes him a formidable force on the battlefield so it does give him proteins calcium everything he needs to sustain his body to keep his body well support and alive now it is also designed to protect his entries the suit is equipped with a state-of-art life support which provides oxygen nutrients and all necessary bodily functions it also regulates his body and blood pressure ensuring that it remains stable and healthy. Additionally, heavily armor protecting him with external threats such as blasters, I guess you could say. So without the suit, basically he wouldn't be able to survive. Now the thing is that Vader was tempting on to advancing his suit. When me advanced his suit, he was thinking of laying it with more armor because after he met Boba Fett he saw he had Imperial armor on so he thought that since the Mandalorians have Imperial armor it could deflect lightsaber blows but then again Vader wants to thrive in pain and agony and anger because that's his punishment he punishes himself so he chooses not to wear Imperial armor. He just wants to wear the type of armor that he has worn through all the battles and throughout the planets that he has conquered. His main test was to face Obi-Wan Kenobi, a formidable Jedi Knight, well, Jedi Master that he could test his suit on and test his abilities. We all seen what happened the first time, the first round, but the second round... Yeah, that's when Obi-Wan had the advantage and Obi-Wan 
cracked his, uh, I guess you could say, his mask, which was a bad decision on Vader's part when he wanted to face Obi-Wan. He knew then that he had to upgrade his armor, but he didn't want to upgrade it fully because he wanted to be a little bit more flexible. So he repaired his helmet, all right, with a little bit of Imperial armor for another duel. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel as always. And yes, of course, I'll see you all in the next one.